everybody's tweeting at me and stuff like I should be celebrating this. I already am feeling bad because I've been to a number of drafts in cities and I know it's a big celebration and it's like, oh my God, look at the sea of humanity that shows up. Boy, the NFL is really king. But underneath that, it's like, I always, if you, have you ever been to one of these drafts before, Tiana? Yeah. Uh -huh. right? Kind of like underwhelming. It feels big, but there's not an event. It's like these 15 minute interludes where a name gets announced and then like a person, a 22 year old kid walks out on the stage and then he recedes back behind the curtains. And then mm -hmm. like you wait another 15 minutes for it to happen. It's like underwhelming stuff. So I'm already feeling guilty on behalf of Pittsburgh. I feel like I owe America an apology two years out. Like it's not our fault if it's not that exciting. It is what it is. That's the draft. Well, I mean that no draft is an, is that exciting. It's just the city, you know, it's, it's just like all these fun sports fans descending on a city and like bringing commerce and then like taking in other things. So, I mean, it'll be April. They can go to, hopefully the Pirates are at home. That will make everything way better. Hopefully Major League Baseball schedules that <laughs> to make sure that that happens, you know, but like you want everybody to come into the city and have a good time. And like that city is so beautiful. Pittsburgh is one of the most beautiful cities on earth. Yes, it is. I just hope it doesn't rain. I'm worried. I mean, those are the kind of things that I- You're <laughs> really, already worried like, about it's rain. It's like a kid's birthday years. party. I feel like I want it to be sunny out. Don't let the rain spoil their beautiful wedding day. These are my babies and I don't <laughs> want it to, I want it to be perfect. No, it's not gonna Could rain. It's gonna be awesome. I wonder if I get a role. Who comes out though? Who do you think comes out? Like the way they had Jared Goff and, and uh, Megatron come out at the beginning of the draft in, in Detroit this year. Who do you think comes out? And is it Justin Fields? Oh, I hope it's Mario Lemieux. I mean, like, let's start at the gallery. <laughs> let's okay. start, you, you did your Steve Kerr and, uh, and that crap. Let's start with the greatest human being to ever walk the planet okay. Earth, Mario Lemieux. And he can bring okay. the Stanley Cup with him. You know what? Bring Crosby with you. Let, let everybody know where they are. They're in the city okay. of champions. Let's send, you know what? Let's send 66 and Sidney Crosby, his first masculine child, take the stage alongside Terry Bradshaw and Big Ben Roethlisberger. Okay. And then we'll bring out, because they've left the planet Earth and ascended to higher places and become more powerful than we can possibly imagine, we bring out the giant statues of Pop Stargell and Bob Clemente alongside. And now everybody understands. Oh, before that, though, we bring out our Lombardis. All the Lombardis strung out for everyone to see. Now you get the stakes, don't you, 31 team? Because you're on the soil of the greatest football team, nay, the greatest sports town in the history of people. Welcome to Pittsburgh, PA. I hope it doesn't rain. 